Aloha. Just gonna light this real quick. Eh, set the mood. Oh, that, that makes the biggest difference. Hello everybody, it's me. You obviously know because you clicked on this video, but hello, it's Chelsea, how are you doing? I'm gonna be doing my fall makeup today because I feel like it. Yesterday was like 21 degrees and today it's like 10, so that is a 10 degree drop. I got this PR package in the mail today from Milk Makeup. Look at that, beautiful. They sent me literally everything you could ever use for your base, so I'm like, I wanna use it on my face right now and test it out. Let us begin. So I'm gonna start off first. They have the matcha toner in here. This is supposed to be good for like oil control. So I'm just gonna apply some of this. My skin is obviously clean. Onto my forehead mostly because I get really oily there and also on the sides of my nose because I get oily right here too. So let's just hope that. So I applied that. Should I zoom in? Oh my God, I'm going red. Do you see that? <gasps> is that normal? We're just gonna ignore that, carry on. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with the blur stick. So I'm assuming this is like, you know, I have all these cards so I can like actually talk about the products, but then I have to find them and that's just like, I feel like I'm freaking shuffling a deck right now. And set, oh, found it. A silicone free, oil free matte primer stick that glides on to sheer, glides on sheer to blur pores on all skin types. So we're going to do that because I have big pores. I have ginormous pores, especially like right here and on my nose. Like, I don't know why they're so big and I use everything I can to make them shrink down and nothing works. So let's hope for the best here. So they sent me their Milk Makeup Blur Liquid Foundation in the color medium. Thank God I self tanned. So this will work for me. We're gonna squeeze some onto the back of her hand. Okay, it's coming out. I'm going to use just the Real Techniques complexion brush at first to apply this and then I'll go in with a sponge after if I need to do so. I don't know how much coverage this is. I need a mirror. Hold on. Okay. Oh shit. Okay, that's a lot. This is why I need a mirror. I I applied so much. That looks so cakey. What am I doing? I feel like this is one of those foundations where like a little goes a long way and I, I went right in for it. I did not... There was no holding back. I feel like a new person I self-tan this morning. <laughs> I'm a brand new bitch. Like, I don't even know who I am. I looked in the mirror, I'm like, damn, I forgot I could look this good. I'm back on my b bullshit. <laughs> the coverage is like really good. Like if you're looking for full, this is full. Or maybe I'm just applying a lot. Fix this giant thing that I call my forehead. It's okay, we've, ac we've accepted its size. We love her anyway. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying I love my forehead. It's kind of weird. Do I ever know what I'm saying? No. I just speak and hope for the best. Now we're gonna go in with the concealer. Oh, let me find the card. I didn't even read the card on the foundation. Right here. This is in the color light medium. Yep. It's a medium to full coverage, lightweight, long wear concealer that covers calms and flexes. Flexes is a key word because if it doesn't flex, you're probably gonna crease and nobody wants to crease. I've kind of been into like a not as super light concealer. I think sometimes that looks kind of like fake and it looks better if you just use like a slightly lighter concealer. <laughs> you like my knowledge? Let's see how this goes. Okay, coverage, really good. And it's blending out really nicely. Sticking to anything, well, I blended it out so fast. Look at that, bam, blended. Okay, this looks good. I look good, I haven't looked this good in a while. Now we're gonna go in with the Milk Makeup Translucent Setting Powder. I've heard really good things about this. <laughs> Let me find its card. Blur, set, go. It's a lightweight setting powder that cuts shine, not glow. That's what we want. This talc-free, silicone-free formula absorbs oil, keeps makeup, keeps makeup locked in place, and leaves a matte finish. Everything I could ever want. Okay, we're gonna go in with a brush. We're just gonna pounce it. Oh, this is so cool. It's like a little trampoline. And then we're gonna just glide some of this underneath. This is very finely milled. Just really the center of our face. I don't like to set everywhere, just kind of where I get oily. Cause that's where the real issues lie. Now we're gonna bronze. I already have this too, the Milk Makeup Bronzing Stick. I've been using this for like weeks now and I'm obsessed with it. So I just could do like a swipe here and then two swipes there. And that's how I've been contouring recently. And I also put some on my giant forehead because we're trying to make that look like it's more small. Nose contouring, dangerous. Dangerous shit. And I act like it's no big deal. Like, look at me, just going for it. Oh shit. Inner jaw, because I don't have a prominent jaw and that helps. So we're gonna do that. I've been really into like cream products recently. I just feel like they look a lot more natural. I've been feeling it recently. Especially cream blush. And I'm excited to try that cream highlight they sent me. I don't have any like cream highlighters that I actually like. And recently I've not really been into like the harsh highlighted look that I used to love. But I've been doing it anyway because I don't have any other highlighter. So. I'm excited to try this one and hopefully it'll be like more of like a natural. Wow, my nose looks so much better contoured. Look at that little slim bitch. <laughs> my lips are so dry, they're uncomfortable. 
<laughs> Why are they so dry? Now I'm gonna go with a blush. They sent me like a berry toned blush, which I don't usually use, but hashtag fall. This is a lip and cheek, so you can put this on your lips too. A multi-use sheer blush lip and tint with hydrating ingredients. I have the color Quickie, I think. No, Rally. So we're just gonna just apply some of that. And then using our fingers, blend it out. Yeah, as always, I'm not very light-handed. <laughs> Okay, that was too much. <laughs> Help me. Now this, now this side's more than this side. This is how you get out of hand. This is how it happens. Okay, milk makeup coming through. Now we're gonna use the highlighter. This is the one I'm most excited about. It's like their holographic highlighters. This one's in the color Mars. Ooh, uh, that is pretty. Okay, that is so natural and pretty. I love that. That is exactly what I wanted. Just like a natural glow. Face is done. We're looking flipping good. I'm gonna do my eyebrows and I'll be right back for like, look at this. That needs help. <laughs> I'll be right back. Our eyebrows are on, but I'm just gonna set them. This is not sponsored by milk, by the way. I don't know why. It just seems like it is. I filled in my eyebrows with, where are they? Where, where are they? It's a singular product. <laughs> I use the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil and I'm just gonna set them with the Milk Kush Clear Brow Gel in them so that they're nice and upward direction. Eyeshadow on, I don't really wear that much eyeshadow in the regular. I've been more into like natural shadow and then I use like a bold liner. I've been really into that. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm using this little Viper palette from Sigma. It's really nice. And I'm just gonna take the lightest shade in the palette. So this like brown, that's not really even brown because I'm tanned right now. And I'm just gonna run this through my crease a bit, a wee bit to add some definition in there. Then I'm gonna go into color Adder, which is the brown. And I'm just gonna build up that crease. This shade is like darker. And we're just gonna go back and forth, windshield wiper motions, brown in the crease, nothing too crazy. I don't know why I'm still talking. <laughs> I really want to go on a trip. Like, I'm like, <laughs> hello down there. <laughs> I really want to go on a trip, but like, why well, I'm going on one, I think, in um, December. <laughs> but other than that one, I want to go somewhere. I think me and my mom might go on vacation again in the new year, make it a new tradition where we go and we lay on a beach and sip pina coladas every new year. <laughs> so we might do that, but I really want to go to Europe, like so bad. Or like Australia. And like I don't have anyone to go with, so a part of me is just like, I'll just go by myself. <laughs> God knows if I would actually do it, but I want to. But I'm sure I can make friends, but then making friends is scary. Everybody's like, oh, I just make friends. But then when it actually comes down to it, I'm like, that's like really scary to like go somewhere and have no friends and have to make friends. I'm like, where am I gonna make friends? Am I just gonna like sit around and everybody walks by? I'll be like, hey, be a friend. I volunteer as tribute. I just applied the color Beguile. Well, look at me in the mirror. <laughs> Hello. I applied the color Beguile into my inner corners. And that's all I do for eyeshadow. I know, super simple, boring. Why am I even doing a tutorial? But now we're gonna wear eyeliner. I'll zoom you guys in. I use the It Cosmetics Superhero Fine Liner. This one, it's really good, I think. Well, it's not the best one I've ever used, but it's not bad. And what I do is I just start here and I draw a line down like that. And then I kind of like drag it down and connect it and then I do the rest of the line. So basically I do like the whole wing first and then I work on like this part. Did that go as planned? Not really. <laughs> Does my winged eyeliner ever go as planned? <laughs> no. <laughs> but we just try and make the best. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so that's that eye done. I'm gonna try and do the same thing on the other eye and I'll be right back. Okay, so now our eyeliner is on. They don't look the same, but that's fine. I was gonna say her eyes are sisters, not twins, but I don't know if that's a good thing. Now I'm gonna go in with the Milk Kush Mascara. I've been really liking this one. It's super voluminous and like in your face. Um, so I'm just gonna curl my lashes and I'm gonna apply some of this. My trick is because this is kind of can get clumpy. I actually like go like this with the brush and wipe off some of it so there's not too much because there's nothing I hate more than like clumpy gross eyelashes. It does some good for my sad, barely there eyelashes that I currently have. 
And like I know this mascara is called Kush Mascara, but it does kind of make me laugh that it does really smell like cannabis. <laughs> You're still sometimes just like, oh shit, it does smell like Kush. <laughs> there we go. And I just apply some on the other eyeball. Ow, I just poked myself in the eye. Oh, I smudged it a bit. <laughs> I can't think this goes plant. Oh my god, it's gonna water. Not today. Whatever. <laughs> Zooming out. Is that too far? No. Okay. Was I not this zoomed out before? Or was I like, no, I was like here. I don't remember. We need to do our lips now. For my lips, I want to do my favorite fall lip color. So bear with me. I need to find it. Here it is. This is like one of my all-time favorite lipsticks since college. It is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lipstick in Ashton. This is 100% my favorite fall lip color of all time. So we're just going to apply it because I love it. I like rediscovered it recently and I was like, this is some good shit. Look at that. Oh yes. Oh my God, my lips are so chapped. It looks disgusting. <laughs> and there we have it. My fall makeup tutorial. <laughs> okay, I actually really like this look. This looks cute. <laughs> Get this lipstick. I'm telling you right now, you will not regret it. It's the best. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching this video. I highly, highly appreciate it. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to leave me a comment down below. I read all y'all's comments. All of them. I read all of them. And I love you all so much. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. I hit the camera. I'm like, why?